All right, Neil, what do you got, mate? All right, uh, short tutorial video here, how to change the axles on your Speedplay Wahoos. So aftermarket pedal spindles now being offered. Uh, these Why would you change them first up? Well, these ones. Yep, well, a lot smaller. Longer. Longer. Yeah, yeah. This oh, you're going to the longer ones. That's the original. Yep. Very heavy too. The titanium ones, really, really high quality. We get them from a machining company in the US, uh, but there's lots of different places you can source these. These ones are nine millimeters longer than standard, so for increase, increasing your Q factor, uh, pretty handy. And this is the great thing about speed plates. This is one of the reasons why they're so adaptable. And uh, changing them, I've already done that one, but I'll run you through the process of changing because it's quick and easy. So on the new Wahoo ones, there's a little rubber end cap on the end there, that little sucker there. Just hold it with an eight mil, Allen key, you can put it in a vise if you wanted to. A little pick or a Stanley knife blade, like a box cutter blade. And just wiggle that guy out. Try not to rupture it. A three millimeter Allen key. This is the little uh, screw which holds the pedal onto the shaft. You can see it winding itself out there, and it's popped off. Oh yeah. Axle comes straight out. Wow. Really, really straightforward. I always put. But it used to be that easy with the old speed plates. Not quite that easy, yeah. but similarly easy. You know, once you've done it a few times, you can swap them in minutes, which is one of the great things about them. There's no other pedal systems really where you can easily change axle lengths like this. Uh, and you know, you can you can get various different lengths of these. You can get them in plus nine millimeters as these ones are. You can get them in plus 12s. And I think you can also get sort of plus fives if you want. You can also get shorter than standard ones like, like what I run. So again, turn it in. You can see it just pulling the pedal back down onto the shaft there. A little bit of bearing grease onto the new shaft. Again, hold it with your Allen key. And so far, this the torque setting on this is an unknown. Done a few of these now and haven't had them wind back out, but just nice and solid. Make sure that the pedal is a little bit stiff to turn on the shaft. It shouldn't kind of keep spinning as you flick it. It should immediately stop like that. And that's pretty damn good right there. Little rubber end cap goes back on. And this is actually the hardest bit of the whole thing is getting this end cap back in there. It doesn't want to go in. There we go, there we go. That just sits neatly in there. Another hot piece of advice, when you're done with them, use something like this, a silicon-based spray friction, like an anti-friction. This is a dry PTFE, I think it stands for polytetrafluoroethane spray. It basically goes on wet and wicks off, dries off, and leaves a clear residue on there, which is sort of a silicon-based you know, silicon-based lubricant. And that, if because this is a metal-on-metal -metal engagement with the, uh, the cleat as it sits over there, as the cleat kind of clips over the shoulders of the pedal here, it is metal-on-metal. -metal. That's the bit that tends to wear out a lot of the time with speed plays. So if you keep something on there so that it's not dry, they last two, three, four times as long. So you can either put that on the pedal body itself, or if you're a speed play user, just on the bottom of the shoe, a spray into the bottom of the cleat, shh, yeah. shh, every couple of weeks, that'll make them last five times as long. You get a lot more life out of your cleats. And that's how to change your axles. Great, thanks. Um, just while we're doing this, can you just go stand by that white wall and hold up the pedals and the axles, just because I'll use that as the thumbnail. Sweet.